We are ready to begin. All lined up, center ice. For the Rangers, Sutter Carson's going to take the draw. He's got Bruton on his left, Hannafin on his right, Fister and Triplett behind him. And they are ready to get underway. Referee drops the puck. Tri-Cities wins that back. Comes to this side off the wall. Left it for Bruton. Bruton picks it up. Through center ice. Intercepted, but Hannafin collects it. Hannafin backhand on net. Tri-Cities goalie will freeze that. That's shot number one. <laughs> and, yeah, the uh, Rangers getting a very early lead in the shot count. Sutter's out there again. He's got to take this face off. Same group for the Rangers. Tri-Cities ties up. Fister knocks that in, holds at the blue line. Hannafin swings, and it gets tipped. Puck comes to the corner. That's a good hit by Fister. That's going to be too good a hit by Fister. No, we're going to get an interference call. An interference call on Justin. Yep. A pretty good hit. Pretty good hit, just a little bit late. Which is just fine. So, uh, early penalty for the Rangers. Covington's going to go out there on the PK to take this draw. He's got Bottomley on his right, Walsh and Banish to back him up. Williams for Tri-Cities wins this back. And Tri-Cities looks to break into Vancouver's end. Over the blue line. Shot, steep angle, glove. Virtual says nothing doing. Good first stop. 14-21 left in the first period. 12 seconds off the penalty clock. Puck's dropped. Covington. Tri-Cities wins that back. Looks bottomly. Bottomly got a nice swing at it. And he'll knock it into Tri-Cities zone. Bottomly on the forecheck. Oh, stopped by TC. And they put that behind their own goal. And look to break out. Here they come. Long pass up ice. Missed. That should be icing if it goes, and it will go. So we'll get a face-off down in Tri-City's end. Nice job by Logan Bottomley to break up that play and then hustle down on the forecheck. On the ice for Vancouver, Carson, Hannafin, Bruton, we're missing one. Nope, no, we're not. Triplets over there. My mistake. Tri-Cities wins that back behind the net. And pass up and look to get to center ice. And they do. Into Vancouver's end. Bruton kicks that back to center. Tri-Cities regroups. Comes in over the blue line. In the corner, look to center. Blocked by Triplett. Bruton tripped in the corner. Gets back up. Still working. Tri-Cities gets a handle on it. Look to center. Can't handle it clean. And that shot through traffic goes in. So, a minute 15 left on the penalty kill. I'm sorry, a minute 15 off the penalty kill. 45 seconds left in it. Uh, that's the first goal of the game. The score, one nothing Tri-Cities. 13-18 left in the first period. Covington's going to take the draw. Wins it forward. Bottomley, Holland, uh, Walsh, and Banish out there for Vancouver. Tri-Cities up the half wall. Held in by Banish at the point. Holland puck at his feet. Tri-Cities will gobble that up and send it through center ice. Tri-Cities got a step. Got past wall. Shot wide. Held in at the blue line for a second. Now Covington through center ice into the offensive end. Shot into Tri-Cities glove. We'll get a face-off down in Vancouver's end. 12.50 left in the first period. Fister, Bruton, Triplett, Carson. And Hannafin's going to climb over the wall. Tri-Cities wins that back. 
behind their own net. Triplet missed it at the half wall. Tricetti's into Vancouver's zone. Nice job by Tri City or by Vancouver to get over to that one. Vister in the behind below the goal line. And now Hannafin. I'm gonna come up ice and held in by Tri Cities. Puck is loose. Tri Cities picks it up, walks in, one on five. And that's Bruton in the corner. He swings it back behind the goal. Tri Cities with the puck. Up, down the. Oh, we've got. We've got a face off outside the zone. Hand pass. Twelve oh one left in the first period. Sutter Carson's going to line up for this draw. He's got Bruton on his left, Hannafin on his right, Banish and Walsh, the defensive pair. Banish will get to this one, sweeps it around below the goal into the corner. Tri City sends that back down. Tri Cities will gain possession. Look to center now. Nice job by Carson to ride uh, that player out, and we're going to get a penalty. Little too nice, little too nice of a job by Carson as he's going to get called for a trip. And that. Tough call to take, but that was probably the right call. Either a trip or holding. He got his stick in front. 11:41 left in the first period. Tri Cities lead. Tri City leads one nothing, and they get their second power play opportunity of the night. Tri Cities wins that back, and that's Covington. Fainish. Tri Cities works their way in. They have a man in front. Buck is behind the net. Down in the corner. Out to the point. D to D to Mooney for Tri-Cities. Works his way around Covington. Works his way in. Soft pass. That was a great opportunity. Tri-Cities couldn't convert. Mooney looking. Works his way around on his backhand. He's got a shot. Oh, left that wide. Tri-Cities, that was a pass. That was a great pass by Mooney to the left of the net. And they worked their way around Burchill and popped that puck. 2 nothing, two power play goals for Tri-Cities. 11.09 left in the first period. <laughs> All right, back to it. Sutter Carson, Hannafin on his left, Covington, oh, sorry, Bottomley on his right. Carson won that back for a second. Tri-Cities stepped around and gained possession. Puck goes below the goal line. Fister will get to it first. Out to Bottomley. Bottomley up the wall. Held in by Tri-Cities. Sent deep. Behind the net. Into the corner. Past Hannafin. Held in by Tri-Cities. Defenseman now out to center ice. Bottomley swinging wide. Sutter taking a direct path. Up the half wall. Probably wanted to split those responsibilities up. Those two players. We're back into Vancouver's end. Triplet. Well, to get that puck loose, that's Fister in the corner. Fister and Carson. Hannafin on the wall waiting for the puck to come out. Lots of uh, pushing. The puck comes loose. Tri-Cities gains possession. Easy pass out front. That'll score. Great pass from below the goal line right out front, right where you'd like to see it. And the shooter unchallenged by Vancouver. That'll be the third goal. First even strength for Tri-Cities today. 10-15 left in the first period. And if you saw the games that these two teams played back in October, this would look pretty familiar. Bruton's going to take the draw. Tri-Cities wins it over. Covington and Holland on the ice with Walsh and Banish on defense. Tri-Cities has possession. Tips up over the red line. Split Banish and Walsh. Shot swept in to the corner by Tri-Cities. Walsh holds up his man for a second, reaches out. Nice poke check by Walsh to break things up a little bit. Puck's in the corner. Reverse direction. Tri-Cities has possession behind the net. Looking to center. Wrap around. Blocked by Bircho. Out to the point. Down to the dot. Centered. Intercepted by Bruton. And he'll get it out of the zone. 
Tri-Cities will maintain possession, but they only need to tag up now. And Covington breaks that one loose and sends it deep. So Vancouver will get a line change out of this while Tri-Cities regroups. Bruton. Boy, Bruton, nice job. Kobe, be careful there as Tri-Cities player ducked his head way down. And I thought they might call a uh, check from behind there for a second on Kobe. Tri-Cities now with possession up the wall into the zone. Nope, just for a second. And we're right back to center ice. Tri-Cities will dump that in. Around the wall, held in. Tri-Cities sets up. Oh, centered. Through the slot. We're back to center ice. Tri-Cities isn't able to complete that pass. Nice try by Carson getting some pressure on that. That's 15 Mooney working his way up ice. Around Fister. Shot into the pads of Burchill. And we're back out. Hannafin and uh, Bottomley. Oops, sorry. Myers had a swipe at that. Puck goes behind the goal line. Into the corner. Tri-City still with possession. Centered. Burchill will just glove that down. We'll get a stoppage in play. 8.25 left in the first period. Tri-Cities leads 3 to zip. All right. Up here by Covington. He's got Bottomley, Holland. Tri-Cities going to get to it first. Bottomley, great job by Bottomley to hold that puck up. He gets set down for his trouble. The puck's loose. Covington can't make it to there. Walsh holds it in at the blue line. And Bottomley again will have an opportunity. Bottomley on his backhand. Oh, Baney stepped up. And the puck went around him. And now Tri-Cities on a breakaway. Walsh trying. Pass centered. Not sure what happened there. The puck might have rolled off a stick. And it's loose. Tri-Cities holds it in. Tri-Cities looking to set something up now. Cross ice. Banish sets it up. Oh, Banish gets over to Bottomley. Bottomley gets it out of the zone. Icing. So we'll come all the way back to the Rangers' end and get a faceoff. 7.32 left in the first period. Rangers trail Tri-Cities 3 to zip. Sutter Carson on the draw for Vancouver. Bruton, Hannafin, Fister, and Triplett, the unit for Vancouver. Tri-Cities gains possession, walks in, shot high, into the netting, out of play. We'll get another faceoff. Shot. And goal. I didn't even see that one. Sorry. No idea where that one came from. So, fourth goal of the night. 7.20 left in the first period. At this point, maybe they can make up time by going to a running clock. Owen Covington's on the draw for Vancouver. Myers on his left. Bottomley on his right. Tri-Cities wins that back. Up to the blue line. Banish can't hold it out. Walsh will go back to collect it. Oh, it's caught up in the Zamboni door. Banish, oh, Myers now. Myers to Bottomley. Back to the point. Tri-Cities holds that in. Whiff on the puck. Oh, big hit on Covington. He pops back up. Bottomley. Has it in the offensive zone. Nice job, Bottomley, sidestepping that hit. But Tri-Cities holds the puck against the half wall. we got a penalty now against, I guess, against Vancouver. I thought that would have gone the other way. Vancouver with a step and a backhand opportunity. Oh, nope, held down. Someone should touch that up. And we finally do have somebody touch that up. And they're, they're going to get Bottomley. For a check hit from behind. That's what the call is. Yeah. Covington. Covington. Covington's going to be called for a hit from behind. And it would have happened down there on the half wall. I didn't see it myself. 
Or I didn't see it as a hit from behind, but the referee is calling it that way. And it makes no sense to it makes no sense to argue with that call. Justin's doing a good job of getting an explanation now. We're going to get lined back up. And we will have another power play opportunity for Tri-Cities. Tri-Cities already converted two of these. Sutter Carson's going to take the draw. Two and a ten for um, Covington. Myers is going to serve the minor. And we'll get things started. Nice job, Sutter, stepping up, winning that puck. Puck goes in on Burchill, and he will stop it. We'll get another draw. Same group, Sutter Carson. Back to Triplet. Triplet up off the glass, out of the zone. Tri Cities netminder out to set it up. Leaves it. And Tri Cities looking to break out. Hannafin and Carson out on the forecheck. Tri Cities passes through center ice and they gain the zone. Works the way around one centered, nice centering feed. Gobbled up by Bircho. And we're back out of the zone. Tri Cities going to need to set up again. That'll be icing. Well, pretty obvious what uh, Tri-Cities is doing now. It's the same thing they did against the Vancouver Rangers back in October. They are taking the puck below the net and feeding it out into the slot and counting on there being an uncovered player. And they've managed to hit that play enough times to make three goals. Well, I guess two goals. One of them wasn't quite like that. One of them was a blind shot that had eyes through. But two of them were that play. So if the Rangers can stop that play, they might have some success. Held out of the zone now. Tri-Cities has to tag up. And they'll go back and trade some space for time. Bruton on the forecheck. Tri-Cities, Mooney, working his way around through center ice. Across the blue line. Around Walsh. <laughs> and Mooney, that's uh, he's going to take that puck wherever he wants to. Big shot on Ned. One-timer from the dot, and Tri-Cities will convert that. That's the fourth goal of the night for Tri-Cities. 5.22 left in the first period. Carson at the dot. Hannafin on his left. Myers on his right. Puck comes back to Triplett. Triplett over the red line. And held in by Triplett. Sutter across the red line again. tri picks it up. And feeds it into the offensive end. Hannafin backhands it back. Sutter almost gets it out. Held in by Tri-Cities. Long shot on net. Deflected to the corner by Burcho. Line feed by 55. And now tries to with possession. Comes around, holds in, and right in front, they've got two players right there. Not a lot uh, for the goalie to do. He gets beat up over his left shoulder. And to be honest, that was the most difficult of the opportunities Tri Cities had. They had a guy wide open on the backside, chose not to give the puck over to him. So that's the fifth goal. They've only got three up on the scoreboard. So 4.48 left in the first period. Maybe it is only four. Oh, now they got six goals up there. I don't think six is right. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Tri-Cities through center ice. Into the offensive end. Tri Cities backhand through the slot again at the point. Soft shot in front, gloved by Burchill. We'll get a stoppage. 4.28 left in the first period. Puck 
puck comes back to the dot, into the corner. Behind the goal. tri says works his way out in front. Burchill, nice job, Burchill gets a, scared that shot wide as he managed to get over, and I think he did influence that shot. tri says works it in again, shot, but that'll go. That's a snipe up into the corner. That's goal number, well, I think that's goal number six. They've got six on the board, but they had six on the board before. I think this six. Is that six or seven? <laughs> Maybe seven. We're undecided. Yeah, they got seven on the board now. So they're looking at it. Puck's dropped. Try Sage with possession. Working into the corner. Hannafin comes up with it. Passes up to, I'm sorry, that triplet passes up to Hannafin. Intercepted at center ice. And Tri Cities will work it in again. Tri Cities with possession. And that puck gets loose. Trickles through the crease. And Burchill put a glove on it and stop at 3.49 left in the first period. I think all they need to do to get back in this game is score four quick goals before the end of the first period. Just cut it in half. Don't get greedy. tri Sage wins that back. Puck at the point. Shot in. Deflected into the corner by Burchill. Up the half wall. Hannafin. Oh, skates over it. It does come out of the zone. So tri Saves need to tag up Sutter now. Got a couple of swipes at it and sends it deep. tri Saves tries to put it in the corner, and Carson will get... Oh, he had it for a second. And now tri Cities Around triplet. Good good stop by Burchill. Good second stop by Burchill. We got the puck back at the point. Shot high. Wide. tri Saves with possession. Centering feed back side. <laughs> That's that same play. And entered feed, entry shot again. Gloved by Burchill. 302 left. And we've got a timeout on the ice. Timeout by Vancouver. So with 302 left in the first period, Tri Cities leads 7 to 0. <laughs> it, especially with a 30 minute delay I'm a little surprised they haven't made this run clock to make up time so at some point they may uh, according to tournament rules we don't hit run clock until the third period third period is run clock so we'll see if they stick with that at this point all right here we go. We're going to get a face-off down here to the goalie's right. On the ice, we have Bruton, Holland, uh, Bottomley, Walsh, and Banish. Bruton on the face-off. Tri-Stage wins that back to the point. Tri-Stage holds it in. Down to the corner. Walsh, nice job, Walsh. Rubbing his guy out. Tri-Stage maintains possession. Good job holding it up. At center, getting sticks in the way. That's a start, and now we're out of the zone. tri says has to tag up. Whiffed on that stick. Held, helped out by the lineman a little bit. As Banish holds on to that. That'll be icing if it goes. It'll go, so we'll get a face-off back down here. 2.38 left in the first.
And we've got Bruton, uh, Bottomley Myers now, Fister and Triplet on the ice for Vancouver. Bruton at the dot. Tri-States wins that back to the point, down to the corner. Fister will go hold up progress in the corner. And Bruton now. Bruton and Tri-States working on that puck deep. They got a man in front wide open. Get, get the puck to him, but he can't finish. Puck's down below. Ooh, sweeping. That was a sweeping shot between the goalie's legs and popped back out. And the puck is out of the zone. I didn't see how it got there, but we're all the way down to the other end of the ice, so no icing. And long pass, triplet held it up. Tri Cities takes the puck now and work their way in. They got Walsh. Nice cross ice pass. Good stop by Burchill. Good second stop by Burchill. And I tell you what, 55 for Tri Cities just cannot catch a break. This game and the two games before this, they have, uh, Tri Cities have been doing a good job feeding him, and he just has not been able to put consistent stick on puck. 152 left in the first period. Tri Cities lead 7 2 0. All right, face-off. And Carson wins that back. Back to Burchill, and he will cover it up. And we'll get a face-off again. There it is. Puck's dropped. All right. Puck goes to the side. Tri-State is able to kick it back down around the wall into the corner. And they reverse direction, far corner. Coming up the half wall, looking to center. Work through the slot, blocked by Walsh, over to Hannafin. Hannafin to center ice. He had Myers, he just chose to flick it up. Tri-State works that in. Nice job, Walsh. And what's this going to be? A trip. Oh. All right. Well, to add insult to injury, we've got uh, Randy's being kicked out of the stands now. We're going to take a quick break till we get this sorted out. Okay, looks like we're back at it. 57 seconds left. Vancouver on the power play. Bruton gets control of the puck. And works his way. Tristez kicks that down to the wall. Fister gets it out of the corner and works it up ice. Out of Vancouver's end, Tri-Cities will collect it as it rolled off Fister's stick and send it deep. Virtual out to stop it, slow it down. Tri-Cities with a four-check. He sends it back to the corner and we've got another penalty by Tri-Cities <laughs> 28 white with a slash so Vancouver with a two man advantage coming up 26 seconds 
26 seconds left in the period. We'll get a face off outside Vancouver zone. So, Vancouver now with a two man advantage. Who do we got? Sutter on the draw. Dry Sage wins that back. And they're content just to kick that up ice. I'm not sure why at this point. Seems like a turnover to me, but why not? Fister up to Bottomley. Bottomley looking through into the offensive end. Bottomley gets that puck taken off his stick into the corner. Try saves with possession. Oh, nope, they cough it up. Bottomley to Hannafin. Hannafin with a big shot. Might have been on net. Gloved down by the goalie. So, that is the end of the first period. At the end of one, Tri-City seven, Vancouver nothing. When we come back, Vancouver will have uh, 59 seconds on the two-man advantage and then another 34 seconds of power play if things stay the way they are. I'm going to make all of you sick now as I pause the camera and swing this. And then hit record again and hope those numbers ghost back onto the screen. It's the weirdest thing in the world how those numbers can just disappear and reappear, isn't it? They don't do that in real life, only on my camera. Which I don't understand. Alright, so we're ready for second period. The first period had a long delay with broken glass down behind the goal. And then... Seven goals. And then a player in the stands being ejected, although I still see him down in the corner. No, I don't see him. So he's gone. Looks like Randy has left the building. There was some uh, confusion about somebody talking to the scorekeeper.